always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. What a beautiful day. Earlier today, Grand Haven Beach was pretty packed and our water temperatures have started to climb. Waters are fairly calm right now. We're actually going to stay between one to two footers this weekend. And if we look at some of our satellite inferred water temperatures right now, we're sitting in the 60s and the 70s. But keep in mind, some of our local beaches could be as cold as 55 degrees. If you want to check out some of the area beaches and you want to know some more specifics, we have a phenomenal beach guide online right now and it'll tell you things like can you bring your dog are there public restrooms best spots for kids with playgrounds and then just again when you head out know this weekend that most of the water temperatures are in the 70s but some are still in the 50s so definitely dip your toes in before you just do a big jump Overall, Saturday, you have to watch for some showers and isolated thunderstorm as possible. If you hear thunder, you have to go all the way inside or in a car for 30 minutes. Sunday, 79 degrees, beautiful by the lake shore, and again, waves one to two feet. So today we've had an area of high pressure that's helped to keep us dry. And it's also why this first round of rain is a little wimpy. It's been combating with the area of high pressure all day. But back behind, we have much more activity. You can see that clearly because of the lightning count. This is rolling through Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. And trajectory takes it mostly into South Bend down through Lafayette and Fort Wayne. So the vast majority of the thunderstorm activity for Saturday is going to miss us because it's going to hold with this complex. Still, we could see an isolated shower to pop a thunderbolt tomorrow through the day. Severe likelihood, no surprise, it just tracks east. And some spots will kiss West Michigan tomorrow, but most of it will be in eastern Michigan, south of Jackson, with the biggest potential of a strong storm. So here we are overnight tonight. Futurecast has clouds for everyone. Remember, temperatures are going to be dropping down to about 60. We could wake up to a few scattered showers, and right around daybreak, we should start to see the intensity of the rain pick up just a touch. So if you have morning activities, plan for rain. There will be gaps in the rainfall. This is 9 a.m., and then continuing through about noon, still plan on showers. It's in the afternoon that Big Rapids and Muskegon begin to clear out. By the time we get to around 5 o'clock, Grand Rapids, Greenville, Ionia, Hastings should start to see some clear skies. And that's when our dew points are going to start to drop for Sunday and Monday. Now, speaking of Tuesday, Wednesday, here's Tuesday. Slight chance of a shower there. Check out Wednesday. You can see a big conglomerate of rain that's currently expected to roll through and last into Thursday. We'll continue to keep you updated on that, but that's the initial forecast. Temperature is comfortable all week. Closest we get to 90 is Tuesday at 88 degrees.